Hi, today we're going to be going over Rabe's integral. The reason I've chosen to make a video and a post on this integral is because it uses a lot of techniques to solve. Richard Feynman being on the thumbnail is no coincidence. If you want to pause the video and try the integral, do so now. Now that I hope you've given the problem a try, here's how to do it. First off, we define a function f of a to be our integral from a to a plus 1 of natural log of gamma of z dz. What we then do is use Feynman's rule or the Leibniz rule, whatever you may call it, but differentiation under the integral sign to define f prime of a as, and by the fundamental theorem of calculus, we get f prime of a equals natural log of gamma of a plus 1 minus natural log of gamma of a. By using log properties, we can rewrite this as f prime of a equals natural log of gamma of a plus 1 over gamma of a. We know that by the definition of the gamma function that a times gamma of a equals gamma of a plus 1. So this expression right here is simply a. We therefore have that f prime of a equals the natural log of a. We can now integrate with respect to a again to find that f of a equals a times natural log of a minus a plus c. We can rewrite this in a bit more compact form as natural log of a to the a minus a plus c. To find c, we can plug in a equals 0 and use the fact that the limit as a equals 0 of a to the a is simply 1, and natural log of 1 is 0. Therefore, we have that f of 0 equals 0 minus 0 plus c, which is simply c. If we plug in a equals 0 into our integral here, we get that it's simply the integral from 0 to 1. And we can try to solve for that. We get that c equals the integral from 0 to 1 of natural log of gamma of z dz. What I'm going to now use is King's rule, or you may know this as the reflection property for integrals, but it states that this integral would now be equal to the natural log of gamma of 1 minus z dz. What I can then use is summing both of these equations together. I then get that 2c equals the sum of these integrands, but by using log properties I can rewrite this as the integral from 0 to 1 of the natural log of gamma of z times gamma of 1 minus z dz. For those of you who are aware of Euler's reflection formula, this simplifies quite neatly to pi over sine of pi z. If you aren't aware of this, I've linked the post in the description that derives it. Moving on, we then get that 2c equals the integral from 0 to 1 of natural log of pi over sine of pi z dz. We can use log properties to simplify this a bit and get a nice form. 2c equals the integral from 0 to 1 of natural log of pi minus natural log of sine of pi z dz. As natural log of pi is simply a constant here, we can evaluate this part quite nicely to be simply left with 2c equals natural log of pi minus the integral from 0 to 1 of natural log of sine of pi z. What we're going to do now is reduce this integral to a very well-known integral. If we substitute pi z equals to u and get that dz over du equals 1 over pi, we get that this integral is simply the integral from 0 to 1 times 1 over pi of natural log of sine of u du. This integral is quite a famous one and it even shows up in the CBSE syllabus. 
if you haven't seen how to derive it before or how to solve the integral, in the description I've linked a video by Dr. Payam that solves it. But essentially, this integral has a value of minus pi natural log of 2. Multiplying by 1 over pi, we get that our integral is minus natural log of 2. Substituting that back in and noting that the minus sign is going to cancel, we get that 2c equals the natural log of pi plus the natural log of 2 and by log properties that is the natural log of 2 pi. If you want to write this as tau, you can do that. We then get that c equals 1 over 2 natural log of 2 pi which can then be rewritten as the natural log of square root of 2 pi. Therefore, plugging back our c into the formula that we derived here, we get that f of a equals natural log of a to the a minus a plus natural log of square root of 2 pi. Again, using log properties, we can simplify this quite nicely to the natural log of square root of 2 pi a to the a minus a. And that is the proof of Rabe's integral. Well, we can actually use this integral to solve a very nice problem. If we have the integral from 0 to k of natural log of gamma of z dz, where k is a positive integer, then what I can do is split this integral as so. I can split it as the integral from 0 to 1 plus the integral from, zero to, from 1 to 2 plus the integral from 2 to 3, etc., all the way up to the integral from k minus 1 to k of our integrand. But we know that this is simply, as we had defined previously, f of 0. This is f of 1, and this is f of 2. Going all the way, we get that our integral would simply be the sum of all the f of i's from i equals 0 to k minus 1. Rewriting this, we get that our integral is the sum from i equals 0 to k minus 1 of f of i. We can find a nice closed form expression for this as so. Notice that we can rewrite f of a as natural log of square root of 2 pi plus natural log of a to the a minus a. And if we were to sum this from a equals 0 to k minus 1, this expression here, since it is a constant term being sum k times, by the log rule, we can simply rewrite this as the natural log of square root of 2 pi to the power of k. And now this term simplifies quite nicely to the natural log of 1 to the 1 times, 2 to the 2 times, 3 to the 3, all the way up to k minus 1 to the k minus 1. And now this is simply going to be the sum of the first k minus 1 natural numbers. And that has a very nice form of k times k minus 1 over 2. And that is our integral from 0 to k of the natural log of gamma of z. Oops, that is going to be our integral from 0 to k of the natural log of gamma of z dz, where k is a positive integer. That integral used quite a lot of techniques, and we ended up with this very beautiful expression right here for this integral. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like. That marks the end of the video. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like and comment what you liked the most. If you did not enjoy the video, also leave a comment letting me know how I can improve. I'm always open to hearing your suggestion please don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell notification so that you can get notified whenever I post. I also have an Instagram page where I post notes regarding theory in mathematics. If that is interesting to you, please do consider following that as well. 
my at is creative underscore math underscore.